Thanks. My, my name is Carol Janji. I'm the founder and program director at Ikahen, which is a program for orphans and other vulnerable children in Soweto. Um, normally on a yearly basis, we, we have Sun International coming to us in July, offering children soup and giving them blankets. Uh, the same thing happened on, on Wednesday, I think on Wednesday, yeah. And we were graced by having Miss South Africa here with us. So it is normal and mandatory that whoever serves food, according to health reasons, um, and um, that we all wear gloves. And if, if Miss South Africa was the only one wearing gloves on that day, we could actually have stopped her because it would have meant that uh, she's actually demeaning the children that we're looking after. But from the fact that each and every one of us who was serving food actually had to wear gloves, gloves and she also was required to do the same. So what happened on that day again is that uh, then she, they actually saw me running around with this girl and that brought her attention. And then she asked and I went to call the girl. And the girl came and spoke to me South Africa and teaching her sign language, you know, teaching her how you say thank you, you know, how you say I love you and things like that. And then she was offered to take a photo with Miss South Africa. And what, what really makes me mad, saddens me, is that she was called out of the food trade to come and meet this girl. And that's exactly what happened. And immediately afterwards, there was another boy on that stool who actually was dipping her bread on the, you know, like dipping his bread on the soup and eating it. And also that caught her attention. And she went and she had her own soup that she had. And she actually uh, 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 ate with them, with the gloves on. And it was a spare of the moment. You know, no one ever thought about gloves. You know, we never ever thought, thought about the fact that because she actually was going to go back and serve children. And I think that's where people miss it. And what what saddens me is that I'm seeing all these messages on Twitter, and I'm saying to myself, people that are sending out that message, you know, are they ever considerate of that little girl? You know, what that would do to her life, you know, posting her picture, you know, with all, because to her, that was the moment, you know, like that was her moment. And we actually are going to take that photo and have it framed for her. This is what she wanted. And everybody else think that it's a racial thing. It wasn't. 